this is the uh, Deerfield Conservation Committee meeting, and it's uh, for December 27, 2018. And members present, Louis Mission. Ben Byrne. Matthew Ainsworth. And let's see. We've got some maybe old business here. Is anybody from Cumberland Farms for an update? Or there shouldn't be anything, but nobody there. Okay, uh, let's see, we have a request for a determination on 141 Greenfield Road, in addition to the Animal Hospital. Is anybody Hello. here? Hi. Hi. Uh, you like me to sit here? Yep. Okay. Yep. Excellent. Just in introduce yourself. Okay. That's all. Hi, my name is Joshua Surrett, and I am a wetland biologist working with SWCA Environmental Consultants out of Amherst, uh, formerly known as New England Environmental Consultants. Um, we were actually the firm who permitted the original development of this hospital back in 2005. Um, there's been one addition already constructed under request for determination, and so this would be the second addition um, that is being uh, requested for permission to build. So um, essentially, uh, I, I delineated the wetlands um, in no early November. And um, if you wanted to start with a figure, if you turn to the final figure six, um, that I think is the best overall plan in terms of what the wetland line looks like, uh, what the other resource areas we might be looking at are, and what the dimensions of the build out are. So that where's that one? Figure six, it'll be a, a zoom in. It'll have the wetland flags on it, as well as a yellow outline of the, the new footprint. Oh, okay, figure six here. Yes, figure six, yep. Um, so the proposal is to develop approximately a 2,700 square foot addition, which is shown here um, with this yellow polygon on the on that south um, western side of the existing building within the existing disturbed lawn. Um, the wetland line is demarcated um, as with the A series numbers, so A1 all the way to A7, and that line essentially was flagged right on the border of the of the existing um, pad where the building is and the, the now fallow farm field, um, which previously did not have wetland characteristics, but upon my visit, it showed to have reverted back to a wetland based on uh, soils, size of hydrology, and the vegetation. And that info- The whole area? That, that entire field, that yes. That? Yep. Um, the plants that it had, it had, had soft rush, sensitive fern, black willow. Um, so in that it hasn't been tilled, in several years, it's now reverting to a wetland. So you may notice that this line is different than on previous um, permit applications. Um, so that means, um, essentially, there's sort of a teal line like that goes out toward the parking lot. That is the extent of the 100-foot buffer zone. So dark blue is the wetland line, teal is the buffer zone, and so this project is being proposed entirely within the 100-foot buffer zone. Um, other features of this plan include um, sediment and erosion controls, we can show, they're, they're shown in that red, pink, hatched line. Um, and those would be up to your discretion. If you would prefer uh, wattles or silt fence, uh, um, that would be definitely a condition we would be happy to oblige. No, whatever, whatever you, yeah. you know, yeah. you need to control it. You yep. gotta have some con uh, protection there. Yes, yep. Um, the plan, I believe, would be staked straw wattles, um, just be especially because the slope of the ground has already been graded such that it will drain into that existing stormwater basin you can see down there in the southeast. Um, and so in terms of new stormwater um, conveyances, what is going to happen is that um, roof drains are, are going to be placed just down on that eastern side so that they can then drain right into that existing sediment basin. Okay, so the roof drains are where, right in the corner they're going to yeah, come they'll off? Yeah, be, they'll be down in, in this corner and over uh, potentially in this corner. So they'll, they'll, they'll all shed that way and drain right down into the existing basin. So we're not proposing any new- Oh, so you're not, there's no excavation or anything there um, to tie There in. will be some excavation f um, to create a new pad to, um, for the addition. Yeah, um, yeah and not the core new foundation. Right. I mean, I'm talking yeah. about the uh, drainage, the roof drains. Yeah, no. there won't have to be any excavation for that. So it'll just, it'll just, um, either percolate into the into that existing lawn area or if, if it's if the soils are saturated <coughs> such that it needs to run off it will run off based on the net the grading that was done when they built this building into that stormwater basin um, 
So how, how do you, is it going to be a, a cellar there, or you're saying, or just a pad? No, just a pad. Yeah, just it'll just pad. be a pad and auxiliary rooms, and they'll tie into the existing electrical. So they're just looking to increase their space to have a couple of more procedural rooms. So how, how's the excavation going to work? You know, are, in mean, the phase, in terms of phasing, or are you going to take it and remove it that day and everything, or you're not going to stockpile it? That's what I'm saying. Um, that would that would be up to your discretion. Um, if you would permit stockpiling, um, that might be helpful to the construction crew. But if you and, and that would definitely be could be done outside of the buffer zone, that, and that could be I'm, stabilized yeah. as well. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. Is if you're going to stockpile it nearby, then you know it should show on the plans with the erosion protection and stuff. I see. Okay. Yeah. So it's you know if you if you think they have a spot that is just outside, that'll be convenient. That'll be fine. But yeah, um, I'll just I make would. note that any any stockpiling material needs to have uh, erosion control around it. Erosion control around it. Yep. And would you uh, would you like to see temporary seating as well? Uh, Sometimes, if it's like if 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 a swip is required, like they'll often require like um, temporary seating after like seven to fourteen days, depending. Like so, if it's left exposed for longer than seven or fourteen days, if you have your discretion, they would then throw some temporary seat on it. Um, if, if necessary. Yeah, well, when does you uh, see this being started? Um, probably the early, early spring, realistically. Oh, okay, so yeah. it's, it's, it's going to be a little while. Yeah, yeah, it'll be a little while. Yeah, and they're still the, coming back for, uh, I believe, for, for planning board hearing oh, to get the final mm -hmm. site plan approval as well. So. Okay. And the only other thing is if, you know, if there is equipment and it is wet and stuff, you might have to extend that erosion control because they will be cutting across I would imagine the line there mm -hmm. and you so know, extend it in, around yes it. extend it to the you know past the uh, the boundary there pa through the past the buffer zone it's all the way to the edge of the buffer yeah. zone. okay just you know because of the uh, you know equipment coming in and out if it's bad you know it's yes it's as needed I would say okay That's, that seems that sounds fair so that's that's really the the um, the project <coughs> in a nutshell. There's there's not a whole lot to it. Um, again, I know that uh, the previous addition, which was done on the eastern side, was permitted under an RDA. Um, Using the old, but the old dimensions, I, or uh, I, I I think they submitted a um, MBI MIB construction and custom cabinetry. Basically, submitted a plan that had the old like line on it. Yeah. Yeah, and so that wasn't in question at that point. Um, Okay, you guys have any questions or comments or? No, I think you about covered it. Does anybody out there have any questions or? I, I do have a question on your submittal here. Okay. Now under, uh, you're asking for a determination. Yes. Now I believe, you know, you have two checked off. You, you, you can't do that, can you? Yeah, because we're not, we're not agreeing to the we're only agreeing to one thing. I believe that's all we can do. Well, because the wetland boundary had changed, I thought that it made sense to ask for you to con to confirm that you agreed with that wetland boundary. Okay, but you're also asking whether the work yes, and that is the main thing there. That that is that is the main one. Yeah, and but that is where we sign off on. Yes. So there's really no place to sign off on. The boundaries now is there um, t t other than it's in the positive and you don't want a positive right? right I think that has that's where it talks about the boundaries yes um, you well, know what we're signing what we're signing off on is it would whether be a the, negative whether the, whether the work right that that is and the that's request. the work and yes. that's the only thing we'll be signing off on yep. Yeah, right. And I just checked the other box off again just to be very above board about that the delineation had changed and this is where the wetline line actually is in case you felt that you did need to go out there and, and have a look at it. Yeah. So. Okay. Because there's nowhere, I'm just saying there's nowhere that's going to state that we agree with the boundaries. That, that's okay. If you, yeah, if, no, I just yeah, wanted. That's okay. If yeah. you were looking for something else. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. If, if you're comfortable with that and you say that the work depicted is, is, um, whether it's subject to the act based upon your feeling of it's, if it's going to impact a resource area. That's the, definitely the paramount. That yeah, I think uh, 
if you want to, you know, just state that you'll withdraw that check mark, that'd probably make it easier. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We will withdraw that um, section B one B determination um, requesting whether the boundaries of the resource areas depicted on the planner map are um, accurately delineated. Okay. If you want to just make note of that. Yeah. Other than that, that was the only, you know, question I had on that. And okay. And let's see. And I did provide an additional supplemental information that typically doesn't come with an RDA, like the floodplain information. Yeah. And a lot of that no, no, stuff just so you uh, had the background there. I saw that and I said, whoa, what am I looking at here? <laughs> could, could have been an NOI, but with no impact, so. No, I think, uh, you know. And I think I talked to you, was it? Uh, uh, yes, we did speak on the phone, yes. A, a, a while ago, a month ago or whatever. Yes, when yes. You were, I think you just changed the uh, addition a little bit. Yes, they wanted to change the config. Um, right before it's the first submission, uh, the, the hospital board decided they wanted to ex change the layout. So, yeah. so the, what is shown is the final layout. There's also, um, you, you probably saw, there is a just a very rough diagram on an 11 by 17 of what the actual layout would be and that's not listed in the table that's the layout itself that's the actual layout yes and so this would be this would be north if you're holding it open like this so north would be basically yeah this way. basically it's almost like a putting the l on it exactly yes okay let's see the board agrees i would say this would be a negative uh Number three, the work uh, described in the request is within the buffer zone as defined by the regulations, but will not alter the area subject to protection under the act. Therefore, said work does not require the filing of a notice of intent subject to the following conditions and just additional, uh, you know, erosion control is, you know. Yeah, and then, and then the stockpiling. And the stockpiling. And, okay. Well, well those, uh, those, those two items are, are noted, and I'll communicate that to the contractor. Okay. You guys well. agree? Yes, sir. In favor? I guess we, aye. 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 Yes, I can. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. And we'll do that. Negative number three for you. Should be all set. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice evening. All right. You too. Thank you. And let's see, <clears throat> we have 198 Mill Village Road. That's me. That's I have you. Have size plans in case that's more convenient. Okay. It's the same as the full size that you've got already. Perfect. We like pictures. <laughs> okay. um, I also have some boards over there, but if I hold this one up, it may be just as readable. Okay, and if you could state your Absolutely. name and who you with. Uh, I am Chris Chamberlain. I'm a civil engineer with Berkshire Design Group in Northampton and uh, representing Sons Mass Inc., which is the applicant, uh, which is proposing to convert existing greenhouses at 198 Mill Village Road uh, into cannabis cultivation. Um, and uh, the current uh, property is owned by Pioneer Gardens, and Ariane uh, from Pioneer is here, um, as well as um, Blake uh, Gilmore, who's the director of security, uh, or the, the future director of security for, for the Sun's Mass um, project. Um, and so briefly, uh, the project is taking an existing two and a half acre greenhouse, which currently grows perennials, uh, renovating the interior of that greenhouse uh, for uh, cultivation of both medical and non-medical marijuana. And in addition, within the site, uh, we are proposing to construct a new building for harvesting, drying, and uh, shipping of the product. Um, and from a site perspective, what we're doing is, is relatively simple. 
Um, we have a new 35, uh, 33,000 square foot building here nestled within the existing greenhouse. We will be reconstructing the parking area. We're going to put a fence around the whole property and we're going to continue growing plants. Uh, there are two jurisdictional areas that triggered this NOI. Um, the first one is fairly straightforward. The very um, end of the driveway at Mill Village Road is within the 200 foot uh, riverfront area of a perennial stream. All of the work proposed there is within existing paved area. We're simply going to reconstruct the pavement and then build utility lines. So our interpretation is that that work would be exempt from the Wetland Protection Act. Um, and part of what we're looking for is confirmation that, that our interpretation is correct. And then there is some work in the 100-foot buffer of an existing bordering vegetated wetland in the rear of the site, which includes some regrading, uh, new fencing, erosion controls for the whole project, of course, um, and uh, some regrading related to uh, drainage of the site. After we submitted the NOI, uh, we got contacted by Mark Stinson, and I'm sure you have some of that communication yeah. with you, um, that identified areas where it is possible that the existing greenhouse was constructed uh, such that uh, wetlands were filled in that process uh, somewhere between 10 and 15 years ago. Um, since that time, we've asked the wetland scientist to do a, essentially a forensic delineation to go through aerial photos um, uh, soil records and those sorts of things uh, to try to give us their interpretation of where that wetland line may have been at the time that construction was done. That work is incomplete tonight. Um, so ultimately we'll be asking for a continuation to a future meeting so that we can um, deal with that issue. Uh, in the meantime, I am happy to go through some of the details of the project and answer questions or we can save that for the next meeting uh, sort of at your discretion. Um, we do anticipate you know, the, the legal process by which we deal with any possible wetland alteration um, uh, is, is still open. We do anticipate that there may be some wetland replication or restoration and the client's fully prepared to, to do that um, to whatever extent is necessary to make up for uh, what was done in the past. Uh, this was all agricultural farm fields and the, the greenhouses got put up uh, with the thinking that those were not wetland areas, uh, but it turns out that, that it may yeah. have been. Um, and so uh, with that, I guess the, the question is, uh, I can give a little bit more detail about our plans or answer questions, um, or, or we can push that off to the next meeting. Do you, you want to wait till? Uh... Eh, probably wouldn't hurt, get it all done in one shot. So yeah, that's probably, that. yeah, that's probably the best. Because mm -hmm. there might be some changes to your plan. There very well may be, absolutely. You know, and then it's, you know, we're talking about something, and then it'll be completely different. Exactly. Um, yeah. I guess if there are any general uh, sort of big picture questions, those probably won't change. But I agree that the, the specific details, um, there could be some differences. Yeah, because I, I talked to Mark Stenson, you know, today and stuff, mm -hmm. and he mentioned about... It, it, you know, it, it shouldn't be too big a deal. You know, we'll have to do an enforcement order of some That's sort. That's what we anticipated, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and that will have, I guess, I believe time limits or something. I think that's what it is or something. And Correct. I can assure you and, they're going to build it as fast as they possibly yeah. can oh, yeah. <laughs> once we get everything through. So I, I talked to him. So he he's said, you know, we'll go over all that. And mm -hmm. uh, he'll issue a number, one, I mean, uh, the numbers there after. Right after the fact after he reviews it and, right and uh, yeah, and so what we'll end up doing you probably know we'll have to send this out for a review with the stormwater management and everything absolutely and yeah. and we've already we're going through the planning board obviously right. and they've already started a peer review on their end yeah. um, i haven't heard whether they've signed anybody yet but um, yeah because normally what you know sometimes happens is it usually comes here first sure and so and if it's a notice of intent it has the stormwater management so we usually try to get it going, and they use that info, and unless they got it started, I'll have to talk right. with them. But, but yeah, we, I, I see no problem continuing it to the next meeting, yeah. which, uh, you know, we'll see where we stand then. Right. And, uh, I yeah, I anticipate that that redelineation is supposed to be finished next week, uh, and from there, hopefully, we can move pretty quickly to to yeah. come up with. A, a plan that we propose, and then we'll see what Mark Stinson thinks and see, about it. Yeah, and then see if we can have it by our meeting is usually the fourth uh, 
And January 24th will be the next. Yeah. Right. Fourth Thursday, so yeah, the 20th, January 24th. And we'll have at least one more planning board hearing, perhaps two more by then. So. Yeah. So, okay, we'll vote to uh, continue till January 24th. Yep, I'll say it. Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. We'll okay. see you then. All right. and the big one, there's a big one up there. So. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think that's about, about it here. Let's, we gotta review the minutes. See, there's uh, nothing on Cumberland Farms? Nope. No, that'll, that's, you know, wait till the weather gets better. See how things start growing. No mail. No mail to review. No news is good news? I guess that's how it works, right? Uh, let's see. That's Ten minutes, that's what we gotta do. I'll let you Review, see what you missed. Correct. Yeah, they look, look good to me. I move to accept. All second. Aye. 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 Okay, let's see. So, no mail, no minutes, mail. no business, no business. Any other business? Any other business out there? No, no questions. No. Well, I guess uh, next meeting is January 24th, and uh, I guess we'll move to adjourn. I'll second that. Aye. Aye. 725.